uh, one important uh, change in policy that was brought out by the new RBI governor was that uh, banks could raise foreign currency deposits, NRI deposits basically, and swap it with the Reserve Bank at less than the market rate. That would make those deposits cheaper for the banks. Now, are they going and hawking that product and are they getting in the moolah? Sham Srinivasan, the Managing Director and CEO of Federal Bank joins us. Sham, the obvious choice because you guys have a lot of NRI uh, customers. Uh, have you hawked a new product? Uh, uh, have you gotten more money? Uh, can you give us some facts? Yeah, uh, we have, uh, Lata, like I mentioned to you a couple of, a few days ago. Mm. Uh, the FCNR product is now more attractively priced. Mm. It's at LIBOR plus 400 for a three year plus tenor. Mm. And it is beginning to evince interest, but I must say that it's not been a gut yet. The rupee deposits seem to be doing uh, uh, robustly yet. Oh. Uh, I, I suspect that the leverage aspect, which is very unclear yet for the customer overseas, Oh. is getting sorted out so there must be some kind of uh, wait and watch so mm -hmm. right now the uh, amounts flowing in is not profound mm -hmm. uh, having said that we are seeing movement after the increase in rates that's a bit of an eye-opener uh, sham uh, can you just elaborate what is this leverage rules that your customers are waiting clarity on no, not my customers it's no just no i mean of... sorry i mean nri depositors no no the depositors uh, obviously would like to see if they can uh, get a local leverage and bring in more and try to earn on the entire amount and then there's an obvious opportunity for them. Mm -hmm. uh, probably it's unclear for them what the impact of the leverage is and maybe the different lenders are also trying to establish a clarity so that there is no violation of any regulatory standards. So that part is yet unclear and I suspect it will get sorted out in a few days and then you would see materially more money coming in through the FCNR dollar route. Hmm. Why you say you'll get clarity? Yeah, have you approached the RBI? Have they said they will write back to you shortly? No, it's not. It's not the it's not the banks here. It's the lending banks, and oh, I don't have an overseas course. branch. Okay. I don't have an overseas branch or a network there. We only have field presence. Mm. So it's really they have to find a leverage opportunity by local, either the foreign banks or the banks which have overseas presence. Okay. Okay. Mr. Srinivasan, there is an expectation by the industry and most of uh, the industry watchers that there could be an inflow of around $10 billion into the system by November 30th. Would you concur? What is the on-ground reality that you're facing? Yeah, the same number is being talked of, 8 to $10 billion, which doesn't seem inconceivable, quite possible, but I must uh, add that there needs to be substantial clarity on uh, their ability to borrow locally and bring in so that the borrowing cost for them is vastly lower than the opportunity that is there through the FCNR route. Uh, once that clarity emerges, I sh I'm sure that the number that's being spoken of between 8 and $10 billion is quite possible and uh, I'm sure all banks are gearing up for that. Uh, in the meantime, the unleveraged money is coming in but in not in, in a, not in a large sum. It, uh, we've seen millions of dollars, not billions of dollars. Okay. Uh, Sham, the other uh, uh, kind of SOP offered by the uh, Reserve Bank on September 4th was that uh, you could raise overseas bonds up to 100% of your tier 1 capital, which also could be swapped at lower than market rates. Are you exploring that route? Uh, yes, that we are. That we are actively in the market. Uh, we have raised some money. Um, and it's almost, it's not like a silver bullet where we will do just one tranche raising. We are looking at Every day is an opportunity oh. and uh, the, at the moment this window is open, there are enough sellers and there are enough buyers. So there's a bargaining of price going on and heavily dependent on the risk and the lines that you have with overseas banks. Mm. Uh, we are in the market, mm. we have raised some money uh, and we have swapped it into rupees. Of course, the swap gains are not entirely one person. It could be one plus or one minus depending on the date in which RBI allows you to swap on one given day oh, okay. and our day is one day. Okay. So to that extent, there is a variation. Having said that, that is a more encouraging opportunity and we are in the market, so are other banks. So there is a pricing, price discovery happens every day. Some banker was saying that, uh, uh, you know, the three-year uh, tenor which uh, RBI wants is uh, more, is, is a little unrealistic, longer than what the market would like to, uh, 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 you know, give and buy. He was, he was speaking of perhaps lower tenors be allowed. Uh, do you all face any resistance at three years and uh, is a lower tenor more uh, easy to uh, to raise? 
The lower tenor is certainly easier to raise. The, if you remember, the 100% tier one uh, borrowing mm. was 50 plus 50. Up to 50%, you could do from your existing one year also. Yes. So we are able to. We are able. It's only the second 50%, which is about the three years. Mm. Uh, that that is probably less challenge. I mean, more of a challenge. So we do have, and I'm sure most banks have. We have space open even in our 50 percent. Okay. So we have almost 300 million dollars of space available for us to raise uh, uh, foreign currency. Uh, and how much that that adds up to millions, billions for the industry? You would think. I think to some extent we must be careful that uh, the FCNR plus this combination is what. I would think my guess oh. is about eight to ten oh, billion dollars. Okay. Okay. Standalone FCNR may not be the only reason for that. This could be one, you know, one half of one quarter of it, and the okay. balance could be the FCNR okay. customer money. Okay. Okay. Mr. Srinivasan, um, just a couple of more details. What will your deposit composition IDD look like once you do see th this clarity come through on FCNR swaps and deposits come in from the NRIs on, uh, which are basically de dollar denominated? And two, how would it affect your cost of funds, hence margins? Actually, there are many layers in your question. Just for clarity, for federal, normally our NR deposits is about 22 to 23 percent of our total deposits. Right now it's bump almost close to 30 percent because the last uh, four or five months have been spectacular growth in NR deposits. We've given up a large part of our bulk. Almost 3,000 crores of our bulk deposits we run down okay. and replaced with customer money. Mm. So roughly about 30 percent mm -hmm. of our book is NR deposits. A large component of it is rupee. Our dollar denominated deposit is relatively small. Through this window that has become available we are seeking to push that harder. And on your question on NIMS, uh, I earlier guided for a sequential improvement. I think we are on course for that. 8-10 uh, basis point improvement in NIMS is what I visualize. Okay. Uh, well, Sham, finally a question on how you're looking at loan demand, uh, both for yourself and the industry. Uh, our retail and SME is trending very well. Mm. Uh, corporate demand has picked up, but I think it's more substitution from uh, the higher cost to bank borrowings. I'm not sure it's a investment or new infra-led borrowing. I think it's just substitution and people are just shopping around for rates. So okay. the underlying corporate demand remains a question mark, certainly for us and I suspect for the industry. Having said that, retail and SME is trending very well and uh, we have seen some slowdown in gold loan in Q1 after the prices had materially dropped, that has picked back again for us. Okay. All right, Mr. Srinivasan. Thank you very much for joining in. So that's Federal Bank. Uh, they believe that the industry as a whole could see an inflow of around 8 to $10 billion once there is some amount of clarity with regards to the FCNR swap. Holding